This method will enable researchers to quantify the early dynamics of cellular adhesion and spreading of Anchorage-dependent cells onto the extracellular matrix protein fibronectin during oxidative stress. This technique is versatile and can be adapted to examine cytoskeletal dynamics under a wide range of conditions. Furthermore, data acquisition and analysis are performed using common laboratory equipment and freely available software. Understanding the mechanisms for how cells attach and spread on the ECM during alterations in redox status can provide valuable insight into normal and disease states, such as metastatic cancer. This method can be used to examine cell spreading and adhesion under different cell culture conditions, anchorage-dependent cell lines, and or oxidants to answer a broad range of biological questions. There are numerous reagents required to perform this technique. Therefore, it is essential that all solutions are made in advance before beginning. In a BSL-2 certified laminar flow hood, set out a tissue culture certified 24 well plate. Place one glass cover slip into each well and label the plate according to figure 1B of the text protocol. Next, pipette 500 microliters of the fibronectin solution into each well. Pipette the solution over each cover slip a few times to ensure an even coating and complete submersion. Cover the plate with the lid. Incubate the plate at 37 degrees Celsius with 5% carbon dioxide for one hour. Then, remove the plate from the incubator and aspirate the fibronectin solution from the wells. Wash the wells three times using 500 microliters of 1x PBS per wash.